hi everyone and welcome to your channel in this video i am going to show you a groundbreaking research from meta which has really caught me in the stride i always try to bring you up to date with not only the tools and models but also i believe it is extremely important to remain abreast of all the research which is happening in our field because the beauty of AI is that whatever research we share today it might become a reality a tool or model or something really workable hands-on next week or next month and this new research which is called as reinforcement learning with execution feedback is something I believe is going to caught on very soon we all know what is reinforcement learning with human feedback is RLHF or reinforcement learning with human feedback focuses on aligning LLM behavior with human preferences. Whereas this new technique which is RLEF or reinforcement learning with execution feedback is focusing on improving models performance in generating functional code through automated execution feedback. RLEF uses automated execution feedback to train the model. Feedback is generated through execution generated code. Then it evaluates the resulting code or results against test cases and then it analyzes error messages. No human evaluation is required which is really amazing. The objective of this paper is to improve model's ability to generate functional code. It enhances model's efficiency in iterative refinement. That is all what is happening here. So again, RLHF relies on human feedback, whereas RLEF uses automated execution feedback. RLHF typically involves subjective qualitative feedback, whereas RLEF uses objective quantitative feedback. RLHF is often applied to language understanding, conversation AI, and content generation, whereas this new technique by Meta, RLEF is specifically designed for code generation and synthesis tasks. So much so that this technique has gone in and what it has done is it has fine-tuned with RLEF Llama 3.1 that has beaten GPT-40 on code completion benchmark it has set a new standard and shows the power of this new reinforcement learning continuously improving models from user feedback has long promised more accurate and efficient llms with better adaptability we all know that but the current models often perform better simply by sampling multiple times than by actually incorporating feedback and that is where this new method i believe really is showing some of the promise there so at meta these researchers have developed this new method to improve llms in generating code from natural language descriptions and you can so see some of the flow here currently llms struggle to improve code iteratively based on feedback this new method uses reinforcement learning to teach llms to leverage execution feedback resulting in significant performance improvements and reduced sampling requirements if you look at this diagram this is an overview of this reinforcement learning with execution feedback the llm is repeatedly prompted to implement code according to a problem description each attempt is evaluated on a public test set upon failure feedback is inserted into conversation if public tests are passing or a specified turn limit is reached, execution on additional private sets determine the reward signal. The model is then updated to optimize the reward with PPO. On the right hand side, there is an example dialog with two model responses. Execution feedback hints at an inefficient first solution to which the model responds to utilizing a cache. The code passing the public test sets will be evaluated on the full test set and that is all what is happening in this screen. They also have shared a lot of examples. Uh, so what they have done is they have structured the task of code synthesis as a multi-turn conversation in which an LLM is repeatedly prompted to generate a code solution to a natural language problem description. After each solution, they have provisioned an automatically generated response with results obtained by executing the solution's code against test cases. 
This setup is applicable to language models tuned for the common use cases of interacting with users in a chat setting and it follows previous work on self-repair for code generation. Now, we all already know that Llama 3.2, which is a recent uh, model from Meta, has broken a lot of records. So, but this paper is based on Llama 3.1. So, I'm really keen to know what would happen when this comes to Llama 3.2. I think this is going to be a huge hit because this paper has just used Llama 3.1, 8 billion and 70 billion as initial models. And those models have generated initial completion to a provided code problem and then generated code is executed on test cases which I just mentioned to determine the success. <clears throat> Any execution error messages are provided back to the model in context. So that is what reinforcement learning with execution feedback is. Because after a fixed number of turns or if the correct answer is reached, a reward is applied. And then they have applied the uh, PPO method of fine tuning to update the model's weight. How good is that? <clears throat> they also have shared these examples which I was referring to if you uh, look into this. For example, <clears throat> in the first one, there's a code contest. In the initial prompt, they have substituted dollar problem by the original problem description in this that provide a Python solution for the following competitive programming question and then the code here and then <clears throat> execution feedback is there you see this is execution feedback that your code failed the following test this and this and this give it another try so it went again and tried it out and then said that okay this is how i need to fix it and then there are few other examples of ablation few short prompting then some of the benchmark issues which you can read through so the basic idea remains the same where it is just acting upon its own execution and then it is just taking uh, testing it with the larger model and the smaller model and already it has beaten gpt 40 which is quite something and i can't really wait to see it in action when it comes to llama 3.2 towards the end let me give a huge shout out to our sponsors who are agent ql Agent QL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its Python SDK and live debugging tool. You can scrape and interact with web content. Agent QL works on any page, public or private, any site, any URL, even behind authentication. It is resilient and reusable and it structures output according to the shape of your query. I will also drop the link to it in video description and you can check them out. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this RLEF. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.